Okay, so I have in my hand the Callaway, the new Callaway Oversize, XR Oversize Iron for 2016. So you can have a look at the tech video that Richard Blamey did with me down here at Let, down at Let's Golf. And they, he explains the technology and the unique sort of selling points to this club and how it plays. But just a little bit of tech, it's got obviously all of their face technology from the XR family, so the cup face, the internal standing wave. One thing I do like about this club are the lofts, they're much weaker, so they're going to hit the ball higher for the average golfer, which is great. They've made the shaft a little bit longer, you know, slightly longer lever there to help with the club speed, so fast face technology, you know, high ball speeds off that face with the cup face and internal standing wave, longer shaft, more speed with the club head and weaker lofts. This is definitely going to be a hit it up in the air machine. So I've hit some shots with my seven iron so we've got something to compare the ball data to. I'm going to hit five shots with the GC2 HMT and let's have a look how the XR OS plays. As I put it down, you know, it, it certainly promotes loads of confidence. It looks huge. I can't miss it. That's what I'm saying to myself. So let's hit a few. Okay, feels great. Got those sort of wow ball speeds off the face, which is good. That's the XR technology, which is really good. I mean, most of the family has got that for this year as well. And, you know, I know the, the new Apex CF has got that face technology as well. So first shot, very impressed. You can see the higher, the weaker lofts. That one's gone out of the screen, that one. So, you know, it's certainly doing what it you know, says on the tin. Looking at the shaft, it's a very lightweight shaft as well, 68 grams. It's about 40 grams, just over 40 grams lighter than mine. But it feels great, very, very responsive and certainly hits it nice and high, which, you know, the club golfers need to get those high shots landing softly into the greens and get those carry distances over the hazards. Okay, so that's a miss hit. Let's have a look where that one's gone. A little open face. Let's look at the distance. Yep, a little bit short. So the miss hit there. Okay. So far, so good. Certainly looks as if it's you know, going to complement the XR family, which I have to say is, you know, is excellent. You've got the pro sort of enhanced game enhancement club, the pro model with the smaller head. Then you've got the XR with, you know, with those sort of real lightning ball speeds off the face. That one, when I reviewed the XR iron, it was going ballistic distances. Um, struggled to keep it online with my ropey old golf swing, but, um, you know, this is certainly looks like to sit in that family and come in with that entry level for the, the golfer that's seeking, you know, some forgiveness and something that's going to help them get the ball airborne. Again, getting used to this sort of lighter shaft now. This is the sort of the, this a Mitsubishi Ray on the Fubiki shaft, which you know is very impressive. Feels great. You know you can check the quality of the shaft as well by sort of twisting the head. There's very little torque in there when you compare to cheaper shafts on the market from the, the lesser branded clubs.
Okay, slight miss hit off the bottom, but look, it's not going a long way offline. It's not spinning wildly out of control. Yeah, it's great. I'd say the distances are not obviously going to be as long as my iron because the lofts are going to, you know, make a big, big difference on that. That's a solid hit. Beginning to warm up. Sometimes I even wonder if I should take up this game. Right, so, okay. Yeah, pretty good. Numbers look good, they're stacking up. So let's look at the GC2 data. I'm gonna put it up on the screen as well. Okay, so we look at the spins. Yep, we know from the weaker lofts, and the increased club head speeds. Didn't see too much of a massive gain for me personally, but somebody that doesn't swing it as fast is certainly gonna see some gains from this longer, lighter club. So spins were higher. Launch is higher. So therefore, for me, I didn't actually see massive distance gains compared to my stronger lofted clubs, but that's understandable right so you know for the club and who you know this club who their Callaway are pitching this at and for a fitter like me this is going to be a great offering for the sort of the mid to high handicap golfer and um, for the senior player as well somebody with the slower speed something that's going to certainly help them get it in the air and by the looks of things it's not going to spin it wildly and curve it wildly out of control so that's the XR OS Iron 2016 great club well done Callaway a good offering to put in your XR family.